Hey everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage, and today is estate sale day. So excited. Um, I'm filming this intro after I'm already done. <laughs> Just a little heads up. Um, but two great estate sales. I do have a little bit of footage at the first one that I will put um, here. And uh, none at the second one. I just wasn't feeling it, but boy, the haul is great. So hang on until the end for the haul. That's so pretty. The baby. Mom love these magic eyes. I have to get that just because of her. These are fun for junk journaling. Bible. Hmm. Cards. <laughs> The color of this garbage can. How cool is that? They're using it. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, down there. We found a phone up here. Look what I see. <laughs> All right, so it's always fun when I find treasures hidden. Um, yeah, I got myself one of those pencils. You saw it, right? You'll see it in the hall too. Um, I collect those. So that was really fun, but let me go ahead and get into the hall. So I'm going to show you first the things that I got at the second estate sale. It's the one I just came from. Um, first thing I could not believe that I got these items. I got two beautiful swinging frames. They had three. The third one was broken though. Um, guys, it was marked a dollar, and today was half price day. Yeah, uh, I got this for 50 cents. It's amazing. I have kind of a little collection of these going on. Um, I may have to pull them out and display them since I now have probably six or so. Um, probably will sell them at some point in time, but they're worth 15 to $20 a piece. Um, some of my bigger ones may be even worth a little bit more. So that was a really good find. Here's the second one that I picked up. Now this one does have a boo-boo up here. Um, but I think that that's something that's not too hard to repair. And I don't think that it takes away too much from it. <laughs> it's a really, really nice, uh, swinging frame. It's a shape that I don't see very often. I really like it a lot. I thought this was really, really adorable. Look at how cute this is. I love that. All right, I picked up this whole bouquet of paper flowers for $2. Um, that was the price I paid today. But I am pretty doggone sure that these are made in Japan. I have come across them before with actual labels on them. Um... This one has something there, but I don't think it's a remnant of a paper label or anything. But whether they're newer or not, it doesn't matter to me. I really love them. These are great for art, so that's why I grabbed them. 
I picked up some invitation um, envelopes. I sell my artwork on cards and these will come in handy for that. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm always saying that I should stay away from books. <laughs> but sometimes when I get to a sale and there's not a whole lot there for me, um, this one was kind of picked through a bit, then I tend to head over to the books and pay attention to what's going on in the books. And this is Tiny, Tiny Toosie's Birthday. And it's a child, children's book with some really wonderful uh, illustrations. And the cover itself is just amazing. So I grabbed it. Look at this. <laughs> I got this. This is awesome. Um, this is going to be a gift. I have two men in my life, my husband and my brother-in-law, who both really, really like Star Wars, Star Trek, all of that kind of stuff. And um, so I thought this would be a great gift for one of them for next year. So it's going to get put away. Okay, you guys, look what I found. Of course I had to have it, right? Oh my gosh, this is like my childhood wrapped up in a nutshell. Um, wow, just wow. I got a whole set of Napco egg cups. Look at how cute they are. I got them, um, the set was $4 today, that was the price. I don't know if that little mark will come off or not. Now the fourth one actually has a... Uh, has a um has some damage to it um so i don't know if i'll sell her with them or throw her in for free or what but you know i thought it was a really good deal so i wasn't gonna leave it there i really liked these little buttons and they're great for valentine's day i'm i don't know if i'm gonna try to sell these or if I'm going to pop them down into, you know, as a package topper or what. Um, but I really liked them a lot, so I made sure to grab them. All right, so this is amazingly cool. This is a Dymo um, label. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, it's not Dymo. It's Pencraft. Never heard of Pencraft. Um, from Pennies on the back. Um, but that's what it is. It's a label maker in that cool 1970s yellow. And look at the box. Look at the late. Look at that font. Isn't that amazing? It's funny. It wasn't priced, and the guy asked me, "Well, what, what would you like to pay for it?" <laughs> I go next to nothing. <laughs> you know, I mean, the box isn't in the greatest condition, and you know, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to sell it or if I'm going to keep it and try to use it because it'd be fun for art. They did include a couple of the little rolls of the tape. And I do think, just by looking at the tape, that the current rolls of Dymo label uh, tape will work in this. So, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, long story short, I think I got it for like $1.50. <laughs> so, yeah, I was really happy with that. I also picked up a whole bunch of vintage magazines and things. This first thing I'm going to show you is not a magazine, but I still really liked it. Now it's intact. Um, which, if you've heard me talk before, makes it hard for me to use it. But I really liked the maps inside with the idea of using them in art. Um, I just really love, I love, love, love the look of that. So I did get it for me with the idea of using it in art. But we'll see. I'll look it up, see if it has any intrinsic value. <laughs> and then we'll see. Um, I got a Mad Magazine cracked. Isn't that cool? On the back, we have, we've got the Rolling Bones. Some of these can have some value on them. I mean, they really, from what I understand, have to be in, like, really pristine condition. But I still think somebody out there would like them, and I surely can get more than I paid for it out of it. So, yeah, I was happy to grab that. Whenever I find high-end um, manuals and things from cars, high-end cars, I will grab them because, and it's something maybe you should look into as well if you also resell, um, because they can have some value. I did not look this up. I don't know if it has any value or not, but I paid next to nothing for it, so I don't care. Um, this is a Porsche, or Porsche, however you want to say it, um, catalog of all sorts of, um, you know, goodies and stuff. I'm not sure the date I didn't look, let's see, 1990. Um, would have been even better if it had been a sales catalog for like the actual cars or if it was, oh, I'm sorry, pulled it away too fast. 
or if it was um like you know the manual that comes with the car that would have been even better but always i'll grab those all the time now this is very cool this is newsweek magazine 1963 from when jfk passed away so i thought that was really kind of neat i you know so i grabbed that whole bunch of amazing old magazines um, this one's missing the cover, which is really funny. There was actually a $20 sticker on this one. <laughs> anyway, the guy realized that had to have been wrong. Um, I got that one. I've got some more House Beautiful ones. Look, I've got, this is Fortune Magazine. from These are all from like the 1960s. I don't know if there's anything to show you or not, but, but very cool. Fortune Magazine. And talk about good, you know, high-end cars. They had all kinds of car things on the front. Now, this one has some writing on the front, but I often like to get old magazines just for the art aspect. And I know that there are other people that like that as well. So that didn't deter me. And again, I got a really good deal on it. So, and look at, you guys, look at the architecture. Look at the architecture in there. Isn't that amazing? So, yeah, happy to get that. And I got a whole stack. I'm not going to show them all to you. Um, I got a whole stack of them. So, yep, that was fun. Now, all of this stuff that I'm going to show you now is from the first estate sale. And it was a really good estate sale. It was the last day. Everything there was half price. Also, I got some really good things. Now, this particular book was marked $12. So that meant that I paid $6 for it today. But it is in excellent condition, just gorgeous, and I just love these sort of things, so I grabbed that. Now this one um, is very similar to that one, but it had a repaired binding, a very nicely repaired binding, I might say. And so I got this one in contrast for like a dollar. The other one was six, this was a dollar. So I mean, overall, I think I did really well. And the inside of this is in such good condition that that binding does not bother me in the least bit. Again, I should always, I should run away from the books, but I couldn't help it. Um, the Human Body, How and Why. These are all gonna be for sale. I think these are really neat books. Look at this one. Mushrooms, ferns, and mosses. Um, I just, I like the, this is my childhood. This reminds me of my childhood. It's a wonder book, probably from the 1960s, but let's look and see if I called that right. But look at this. Isn't that cool? Let's look at the date. 1965. Yep, I called it. <laughs> How and Why of Stars. <clears throat> How and Why of Dinosaurs. Yeah, those were fun to find. Here's a hardcover How and Why book of birds. You got some color. You got some black and white illustrations. Very cool. Silver Dollar, American Indians. I really liked this book a lot. Um, I liked the illustrations in this book. All right, guys, I've seen this before, and I don't know if this is complete. I didn't take it apart to look at it. And I did pay up for it. Um, I paid $8 today. It was originally marked $16. But I got the Skunk Game. Now, when I said I've seen this before, I really haven't seen the whole thing. I've seen this, this sheet of paper. Um, but here's the whole game. Very cool. So I grabbed that. We'll have to see. Um, I did look them up. And if it's complete, we're looking at around $30 value. Um, if it's not complete, then um, I don't know. I'll have to, <laughs> have to look more carefully. But even the box alone, you know me in boxes. I just adore the little skunk guy on the front. Too cute. This next bunch of items, I picked these up. These were a little less than a dollar a piece. Um, connect the dot. They are unused. And they're so stinking cute. Look at that. Um, but yeah, none of the pages were drawn on, and to my my knowledge, just from glancing through there, none of the pages were ripped out. Sometimes that happens if a child has drawn in them or colored in a page. They'll rip one of the pages out, um, but this does not appear to have any missing pages. So we've got him. We've got a couple smaller ones, um, and these are the flip-top kind. 
Got that one. Got this one. Got this one. And then here's this one. This one has, um, oh, that came off. The little piece of the cover came off. I'm going to save that. This connect the dot one. Look at the, it's really cute. That side, very cute. But again, has not been used. So on the inside, all of the pages are nice and pristine, just like that. So I thought that was a really good deal. I was really happy to get that. I was really excited to get this. Um, this is a photo album. Doesn't have a cover on it. It has pictures in here of all sorts of different things. Um, they're all from the turn of the 20th century, so the early 1900s. There are some pictures in here of World War I soldiers. Very cool. Um, just a lot of really neat things, and I really like the stories and, and looking through and imagining people's histories. Um, so I like that, and I do use these types of things in artwork myself. I have quite a huge collection of photographs, but I might scan uh, some of them, hang on to some that I really love, and then pass them on. I totally adore vintage um, cupcake picks, floral picks, all that sort of stuff. So I grabbed these Easter things. They'll be for sale, but I, I just love them. There's some more fun little Easter stuff that I grabbed. A little plastic guy. I don't know. I don't know the dates on these, but I thought they were adorable. Look at this Popeye toy, you guys. I don't know the date on this either, but Popeye's looking like an early Popeye just by the look of his face. Um, he's a little one of those little walkers with the wheels. I, I don't know how he does it. There's really not a whole lot of a mechanism in him, but I think that he's still, he still is going to roll. So that's cool. Guys, these are amazing. Look at these. 1927 is written on the bottom of them. These adorable little paper um, bride and groom figurines. So, so good. Cute little bluebird valentines thought he was cute. Um, these are Avon, I believe. This one, I actually saw the mark on the bottom. This is cute, you guys. It's probably Avon as well. I don't see a mark on it, but there was a lot of Avon stuff at that house. Um, this would be really cute in a bathroom with some like little tiny guest soaps, wouldn't that? That'd be cute. I got a whole box full of these early wood stacking bricks that are like Legos, but they, they predate Legos. I looked them up online. They're like from the 1940s. Um, a whole box of them, and I got a really good deal on them, but I just, you know, whenever I see something I haven't seen before uh, that I think is really cool, I just have to have them. I really liked this book, and again, we're back to books, <laughs> but first of all, the cover is so cool. It is copyright 1897. However, the inscription is from 1911, but very cool. What I really liked about it was that the book, the first part anyway, is all in cursive handwriting, which is very, very neat. Um, and I think if you're trying to teach a young person, which I think everybody should know um, how to do cursive handwriting nowadays, since they're not really teaching it in a lot of schools. It's good to have this sort of thing. Um, the book is not in the best condition, but it does have some amazing illustrations in it. Um, and when I first was looking through it, I was looking through it with the idea of doing art because it's, you know, lots of pages are falling apart and whatever. Um, but again, as with many things, I may scan it and then we'll see what I'm going to do with it from there and see just how bad it is because there's a lot of pages that are messed up. But I still, I still thought that was pretty awesome. Another thing you might have heard me talk about before that I'm always on the hunt for are um, used paintbrushes. The more used and painty, the better. I like them for art. And boy, did I hit the jackpot at this place. This is awesome. Look at all of the paint on that. I adore that. I mean, I can't, to try to duplicate that is a nightmare. <laughs> um, here's another one. You got Rusty Krusty on that. Very cool. Look at this one with the paint. Oh, I love it. And I only paid a dollar a piece for these paintbrush. Actually, maybe 50 cents a piece. Um, because they may have been a dollar a piece before they marked them down. I have a sickness. <laughs> yeah, which, what, 
how many, how long are we going to be here? No, I love these babies. Oh my gosh. So look at her. She's composition. Um, she's just fabulous. She might stay with me because she's just too, she's just too cool. I picked up a whole bunch of, um, chalkware pieces and they are signed on the bottom in pencil or pen. I don't know. Um, this one signed. I, I don't know what it's signed in. This is Santa. Most of them are Disney characters. And this one is actually dated 1943, I believe, on the bottom. So I don't know. I'm assuming that these were mass produced. Anyway, I picked up a whole bunch of them. There's Snow White in there. I got a whole bunch of them. And I got them for a really good price. Um, <clears throat> they were with all of the salt and pepper shakers. So she gave me all of them for the price of a salt and pepper shaker set. <laughs> I was so thrilled. And speaking of salt and pepper shaker sets, oh my gosh, I got so many cute ones. So I got this little elephant set. I don't know what he's got on the back of him. Look how cute. Got those. Look at these birds. Aren't they cool? Got these birds. I think all in all we counted 13 pairs of salt and pepper shaker sets. But look at this. this is a souvenir of the Empire State Building in New York. Very cool. Cute little donkeys. Look at these donkeys. They're more um, realistic than a lot of the ones that I see, which is very, very fun. And they're made in Japan little fishies and they're made in Japan. I really love to pick up salt and pepper shakers because if you're collecting something it's a great place to start collecting because they're small they're not going to take up a whole lot of space and then for me as a reseller I really like to to buy them because um, lots of people collect them and they're easy to ship. So I've got these little pigs um, they're made in Japan and look at these little birds. Oh, there's some pepper in that one. Look at how cute those are. Just adorable. I got a few of these little salty peppy ones. These are probably the nicest condition ones I've come across. Got that one. Um, I got this set, the bigger set. Cool, right? I haven't been to an estate sale in a long time, and it was fun to get out to one and uh, go to one that I actually could uh, purchase a lot of really fun stuff for you guys. So I was really happy to be there. Hey, if you like this sort of thing and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Hit the like button. That always helps the analytics so that YouTube knows to uh, promote my videos to other people. Helps the channel grow. As do your comments. And I always say if you don't know what to say, just leave an emoji, punctuation, whatever. I totally appreciate it. Love you guys. Thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs> but first of all, the cover is so cool. It is uh, from 19... Copyright 8... Bleh.